Hi there, this is Galen Martling, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. This is a sweet dog card, a dog themed card, or a puppy themed card, and I'm using a slim style or a slim line or tall style card design along with the stamping for this. I have stamps by Unity. One is called Love Puppies, and I'm also using the paper pack called Pretty Polkas. It's a six by six paper pack by Unity. I also stamped, pre-stamped this and die cut it with dies by My Creative Time. They have a tall, tall dies line of dies. And so for the card base, I cut that at seven and a half by seven and a half inches, and I scored it at three and three quarter inches. Uh, so that would be the card base that will I will layer these layer uh, these um, die cuts onto. And so I go ahead and just pre, you know, go ahead and outline that outer area with. I started with a gray, but I went darker with some the darkest color of Copic markers, uh, just to outline some of the creases and folds. And I'm going to blend it lighter as I go. But I wanted to accent some of the darker areas in the very dark shades. The colors will be here and on my blog for the Copic markers. And I just am trying to mimic the look of my daughter's dog. Um, she has a husky, and this is not a husky dog, but it is similar colors as her dog. And so I went ahead and added the dark shades from black, gray, you know, all the way down to very light gray. And then I'm going to go in and add touches of browns. And that's just the way her dog is. And so I wanted to try to duplicate those colors as best I could. Uh, so blending all of these light colors back into those dark colors all the way through in many layers until I get the look I want. Now onto the snout and the paws and the tips of the ears, I'm adding some tans and light browns and around the eyebrows and around the eyes. Those are areas that her dog has accents of a, a brown or a light gray, and that's what I'm trying to get. And so I just go in and add darker colors. So on the brown part, I add light colors first and then go dark with it. And um, just to accent some of those creases even more, give it more of a, uh, a look that pops a little bit better. And so now I'm filling in with just some more brown, tan color, darker tan color, and I blend it up into that gray black area. I want it to be wispy looking hair for the dog. Now um, this is uh, this is so, so cute it's got heart shaped glasses so I'm going to color some of it in rose color and then I'm going to also add some red towards the bottom of those glasses. And you can see the die cuts are partially onto the ears and I let it be like that. It's going to show those trim, the trim, the paws on the trim is going to show up better when you have a solid color cardstock behind it. And there you go. It's real easy to color up any design your dog is. I mean, any colors you can add to make it look like your dog. And this is going to be a real sweet card. It could be a Valentine card or just because or any love theme. It's real sweet. And so I use double-sided flat tape to place this panel right onto that pre-cut card base that I made. I have some die cuts by my creative time and some of those same, same kits. And um, I just layered them up and put them, the little dog bones, onto the card base, double-sided tape. Now I'll pop some of it up with foam tape. This is a larger bone. Um, it has the pattern paper by Unity right on top there. And also I wanted to add a heart and a few adhesive gems just to accent this card a little bit further. And there you have it, a really sweet card. Sending puppy kisses card. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.